Before we open the question, Lena, let me say this. Question seven, acid and bases. It's a topic in a pillar, and I got great. Eleven, got great twelve, for such a taller. Whatever we found out, I got great eleven. The Arrhenius, the Arrhenius model, the Lori Bronsted model, still such a taller, I got great twelve. The conjugate base, the acid, the, the conjugate base, such a taller, I got great. 12 but grade 12 uzo beso calculator bazo beso bazo kufundisa u calculator the ph level for any given substance for your base for your for your acid as well right so that's the only thing or the only concept those will be found next year so my advice would make sure would the topic le we are a master like grade 11 we'll be talking about that next year right so great I, I mean question seven as pendulele question check out the description box for ama um, a, a link to another channel for my lessons there's all kinds of lessons on that channel from grade 11 grade 12 grade grade 10 so now if ever there's a topic on i told you guys please check out leo channel as a as a reference there's also ama links for amanyama questions on a pendulele for the question paper now, Lago 7.1 Basipa, a two step process for the ionization of a sulfuric acid. Sine step one, step two. Right? So, sulfuric acid is a reactor that is a form of hydronium ions. Right? This hydronium ion is this is a base. The presence of hydronium ions is a this is a base if there's a present of e amaha hydronium ama hydroxide ions these ions leo substance the nature of that substance it's a base all right 7.1 but he all right yay nala machita lava to ulori bronsted right Sniggers so a definition according to these guys. Give the the the, the lower Bronsted definition of an acid. An acid. An acid is a proton. Is a proton donor. Is a proton donor. So this is the definition according to these guys. 7.1.2 let you write down the formula of the conjugate acid the conjugate acid of this ion and the conjugate base of the same ion all right as by the conjugate base girl i mean the conjugate acid conjugate acid conjugate acid so as I as I identify this ion, girl, nali la, liweli appear da gopi nala. Yes. All right, okay. Uh, this one. Pegala, this sulfuric acid. Gule forward reaction li. Si abogo ti ekta ezini as the acid la amanza acta as ini as base right acid it donator ini a proton so this guy would donate ini we acid and should donate ini a proton whereby ini whereby conjugate base conjugate base so now we bring you acid not donator a proton whereby donate not donator a proton Single change and you buy in it, conjugate base. If ever you base, then I accept a proton, whatever forms Pambili, go by conjugate acid. Conjugate acid. All right, beg Agila. But it's totally the conjugate, conjugate base, and the conjugate acid. All right. So I I believe this one says he identify it again. This one. This one says he identify the E conjugate base. Oh okay 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 okay. Come let's analyze another one. Now HSO four right. 
it's the ion in question so this according to this reaction number two say abogoti this also acts as the acid again right then if form a ini if form a conjugate base conjugate base being acid so my conjugate base ubani ilo so4 so4 2 minus 2 minus so this is my conjugate base my conjugate acid mina being acid la senga ba ini conjugate base conjugate base so mina ngi conjugate base it means that my the acid thing for me is about a conjugate acid again. So the answer is to about H2SO4. This is the conjugate acid for this one, right? Okay, now let's about which one of the compounds in reaction 1 and 2 is an ampholite. Is an ampholite is an ampholite all right all right all right all right there's one common ampholite la ampholite yile substance iconic act as acid we act as as what as a as a base the common one who h2o it's h2o but also this one yeah act as ilogange the ampholite now remember According to Lama reactions way to iconic act as both as ilogans as e the acid we act as a base. Lan I'm acting as the acid, but ngapa I'm acting as what as a base. Right? If I were to go back, I'm going to accept the proton from this guy. So that in we are back to H2O and then for me sulfuric acid lapa. Right? So we can just say O H S O four now so seven point two in a titration the learner finds that twenty cubic centimeters of a zero point two mole per cubic decimeter solution of sodium hydro sodium hydrogen carbonate you nice sodium hydrogen carbonate uh, okay, I think it's going to pass. I'm going to get confused. I'm going to get confused. Okay, in a titration, the learner finds that 20 cubic centimeters of a 0 0.2 mole per cubic decimeter solution of sodium hydrogen carbonate neutralizes volume of 12, 12 cubic centimeter of sulfuric acid. Nice sulfuric acid. La neutralizes neutralizes the balanced equation for this reaction it's this one it balanced it's important to be balanced now was a pendulum my questions are especially when it involves our calculations 7.2.1 why is sulfuric acid regarded as a strong acid why is a sulfuric acid regarded as a Alright, see as good tea, there are strong acids, there are weak acids, there are strong bases, there are weak bases. So a strong acid, it's when Leo substance, the ionizer, completely when Sifaga will be a manzine. Sifaga manzine. So to answer this question, uh, an acid that ionizes completely completely uh, ionizes completely in water uh, starting to form to form high concentrations high concentrations of hydronium ions of hydronium ions voila of ama hydronium ions now it's okay now it's okay i'm going to show ama ama acids they form ama hydronium ions ama bases are former any ama hydroxide ions so if the bag boozam something a strong base boy reference bozo refer to ama hydro hydroxide ions 
Now, I think you raise it so that you can answer my questions. I learned a lot. Seven point two point two. My calculations now. So the space I need to see enough. Okay. Seven point two point two. But how many moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate are present in 20 cubic centimeter of this concentration? All right, again. So it's for the number of moles. Okay, since basipe e concentration, for the number of moles which are unknown, I'm given a concentration 0 0.2 mole per cubic decimeters but we are going to the volume volume which is 20 we are going to divide by 100 I mean by a thousand we are going to do 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 2 I think confirm a thousand yeah 0 comma 0 2 Cubic decimeters. I'm a centimeters as seven zing now. Seven zang seven zang. I'm a cubic decimeters. In our calculations, we involve a cubic decimeters. That's why I'm changing it from centimeter to cubic decimeters. Now, for another number of moles. So, according to this formula, n is equal to v. The number of moles can be calculated as concentration times volume. Ne? Concentration times volume. All right. Therefore, therefore, I think the number of moles is equal to what's the concentration? Zero comma two. What's the volume? Zero comma zero two. As one again. Zero comma two times zero comma zero two equal to our answer is zero comma zero zero four. 0, 0,004 mole of E sodium hydrogen carbonate 7.2.3 but it determine the number of moles of e sodium that are neutralized by this 220 cubic centimeters of the concentration of E sodium hydrogen carbonate right so basically, but the amount of moles angaaga of 0 0.004 moles of e sodium hydrogen carbonate as a neutralizer amount of moles angaaga nani of e sodium e, e sulfuric acid. Yeah, well. So now, lana it's a matter of e stoichiometry la. So I'm funa in I'm funa the number of moles. The stoichiometry when doing our stoichiometric calculations, we need to make sure that the lama values so dila now. Dila na ma moles. The stoichiometry is apply ma moles. Ne? Pega aki manch. This is the equation. Two moles. Two moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate. The reactor na one mole. Remember? Two moles of sodium hydrogen carbonate the reactor na one mole of a sulfuric acid of a sulfuric acid right so my young funo was good if i'm a mole so i'm if my moles are zero comma zero four moles of a sodium hydrogen carbonate you calculate a lava pezu funo was with the other reactor na my moles angara nan of a sulfuric acid Done. Stoichiometry. Sakonas. Uma says clearly so. Then so apply mathematics. You just cross multiply. You cross multiply. X times 2. Right? X times 2. Sitola u 2x. Equal to 0 0.004 times 1. It's 0 comma 0 0 0.004. Divide by 2. Divide by 2 x is equal to 0 comma 0 0 2 mole of a sulfuric acid of a sulfuric acid so these are the number of moles as of a neutralized 
as over neutralized by this amount of ilogange of e sodium hydrogen carbonate let's say lagu question of cleaner but to calculate the concentration of sulfuric acid solution all right for this one so for the good thing erase a lot and sana space and sana space okay 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 7.2.4 so the concentration is calculated as number of moles divided by volume. So what are the number of moles for E? Remember, for no calculator, the concentration for this. So what is the concentration, Yala? I mean, the number of moles is 0, 0,002 divided by the volume a volume for okay as well back to the statement also the volume for a sodium hydrogen carbonate nine the volume for a sulfuric acid now 12 so lana sizoti 12 divided by a thousand you about 0, 0,012 0, 0,012 equal to as calculated much 0, 0,002 divided by 0, 0,012 answer 0, 0,16666666 so but now having it tata maybe in two decimal places now answer I am shift ugh. calculate all right in two decimal places the answer is to 9 0, 0,17 mole per cubic decimeters now answer it to you I answer it. Um, no load shading, saying shy, image. So, question seven here to be lana. I hope we enjoy this video. Check out the description box for Amanyama recording. Send one in for the question paper. For now, I spawn on the next video. But don't call, don't call. This topic is very important. Peace.